This episode of Chins and Giggles is brought to you by McDonald's. Most people don't know that one in eight people in the U.S. have worked at McDonald's. That's a lot of people, as in 12.5% of the U.S. population. That means one in eight Americans have probably experienced the art of throwing a McDonald's birthday party. Or they know the feeling of the calm before the McDonald's lunch storm. I literally know like five people who worked at McDonald's. I wanted to work at McDonald's so bad too. Like it's so iconic. It must be so fun working at McDonald's, having to make the world's most famous fries on day one of the job. Stop. I would eat all the fries I make. (laughs) It's not the best fries in the world. Oh my God. Or being able to make any of the kids day with a happy meal. They throw more birthday parties than anywhere else on earth. That's so iconic. I love that. And having every type of person in the world come through the store. And there are a lot of cool things McDonald's does as an employer that people might not even know about. McDonald's offers flexible hours and a schedule that works around your life means more time for life, girl. Another cool one, Career Online High School, where employees can graduate from high school by taking classes online. I'm here for the education opportunities. Mm Mm-hmm. 12.5% of the U.S. population has worked at McDonald's and has taken advantage of these incredible career advancement opportunities by McDonald's providers. That's pretty special, girl. McDonald's, now serving much more than orders. What's up, what's up, y'all? Ooh. Am I loud? (laughs) No, welcome back to episode 74. 74. He said, Dang, you are a little loud, Queen. <laughs> Why am I so loud? Even? <laughs> Come on, ASMR. Am I loud? It's just really crisp. I'm here for it, though. I'm getting the ASMR Karina Garcia moment. Oh, I'm <laughs> living for the fall vibes. Ah, again, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what if they didn't watch the last episode? Guys, we have a new set. I was doing it like, <laughs> right? I'm wearing, I'm wearing a boo shirt today, bitch. I was looking at that. So cute. You know, what's up? You know what I'm doing? She's definitely a pumpkin spice queen. She's a pumpkin spice girl. Um, <laughs> I I literally wear like anything that I brought, like um, spooky vibes. I'm, I'm wearing, wearing it, it this now because again, next month come the fucking outfits, the the costumes. costumes, bitch. I don't have any spooky stuff. I have a few. You should like. Well, I have the. It's fine. I mean, I feel like I'm giving fall energy right She's now. Giving fall. She's giving Thanksgiving dinner too. Was she good. is. <laughs> I was seeing on TikTok how there is like different fall aesthetics there's like the you know the pumpkin spice latte girl the christian girl fall christian girl fall <laughs> and then there is the there's like the cool girl fall the cool girl fall the cool one is like a very like i don't know what how what would you give as an example okay like pumpkin spice latte or like christian girl fall is very like uggs um thigh high boots thigh high boots with a scarf turtleneck oversized uh sweater vibes very much that vibe or like flannels yeah with your like hat uh-huh you're cute i've little... never been into the hats you know but not that, the, not I mean, the it's that, that, that's more christian girl fall right yeah i think so with their like purses or big ass tote their bags big old celines no oh. literally the pictures they got celine <laughs> yeah and then there's like the cool girl like the more like uh i guess the modern one of like i i picture cool girl like edgy with her like edgy like i don't know baseball hat not baseball hat like with a baseball cap and like some cargos cargo pants some cute like shoes i feel like i want to be in between because when i think of fall naturally my mind goes here christian girl like very much <laughs> pumpkin spice latte orange like flannels give me the turtleneck vibes yes but i i also see like the girlies on tiktok and on the instagram baddies like doing like the cargo pants with like um a bucket hat and stuff and that looks so cute too but like you out of the fall to that i kind of want to be in between myra like imagine a cute turtleneck um skin tight top with cargo pants yeah and a cute ass like baseball hat like like give me the for turtleneck sure. but then give me the baseball cap and the cargoes bitch a look mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for sure so cute but like the uggs i don't care how tacky they are bitch i need uggs every year i know are her. you like the 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 high th- the the no. high thugs well now it's the 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 short uggs yeah 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 and i still don't have them i need those i've been wanting them since last year <laughs> 
Are you wearing like like the the other Uggs? You know what t- Uggs I'm talking about? Oh, in the cold, I'm wearing them. I don't give a fuck. I I don't know how people uh, think they're ugly. I don't. I don't. What the big Ugg? Like the the OG Uggs? Even? Like the Santa Claus Uggs? People think they're ugly. People have always made fun of them. No, or am I tripping? You know what? I'm not gonna lie. It, it, the styles are changing a bit. But for me, like, if I'm going to the warehouse, like, on a winter day, bitch, it's cold. And all I'm thinking about is Uggs. Like, I'm thinking about the actual, like, cold weather. Like, people that are living in the snow and stuff or, like, where it's cold as fuck, they don't give a fuck. Like, they're like, bitch, just keeping my feet warm. Because mm. mm. when I think about, like, when we work at the warehouse, like, and it's cold, I'm thinking, like, I need my Uggs, my double fucking socks. Like, it gets cold in that bitch. So... I used to have a pair of Uggs every year, and I feel like I, I mean I don't have a single pair anymore. Oh, I'm trying to trying to buy some queen. I want to get the short ones though. Like, what are they called? The short or the have no leg at all? The one that have no leg. Oh, those are really popular. I think they're always sold out. They are. Those are cute. To but do you wear those out? <coughs> I think so. I don't know actually. I think <laughs> to run errands and stuff. Oh really? You do wear them out. Are combat boots like? St- uh, uh, are they in still? I remember they had their their big moment a couple years ago. Combat boots. I think they are still in. They're still in, right? I have some that I got like at Target. Is combat boots more like of the cr- cool girl fall? I think that's cool girl, huh? Low key. Or like, what are the cool girls wearing like with their cargos? Yeah, like the Doc Martens underneath. I'm assuming, right? Oh, I know sure they're, they're wearing like, like dunks. Yeah, I think they're wearing. Um, what are they called? Um. Dunks? Uh, I'm just thinking like either dunks or like what are the, what are dunks? Well, kind of like the dunks. Like the, there's different ones. I don't know. I don't want to sound stupid, but like you, they're either wearing their pandas, like their Nike pandas, or like their those oh. shoes, or also like the Nike runners, like the you know the running shoes, the Nike running shoes, how they're like really in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's very much like <laughs> what people are wearing these days. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I also think of fall. Like I don't know. Like uh, I also think of like the '90s pants with like a white turtleneck vibe okay she's cute what like, about i want like a mix i want all of it give me the cool girl give me the pumpkin spice latte give me the christian girl on but then like that era where you were like your brown skirt with black medias is literally a fucking vibe and how dare y'all try to get rid of that her is, that is an abomination that is my thanksgiving outfit yes i literally like that's that is the thanksgiving outfit i don't give a fuck that's one thing on thanksgiving it's gonna be uh that vibe it's gonna be the medias of the skirt yes. and the turtleneck that's the vibe myra and i feel like you could twist it twist it up to like with a cool girl slash like traditional i feel like medias though when i think of the nylons and like a cute skirt and stuff. I feel like that's kind of leaning on like cute edgy vibes, but like still very traditional. I feel like maybe you could do the, the black medias with cargos. Wait, cargos. Cargos. <laughs> Bitch, what? What are cargos? The pants. <laughs> oh, Cargo my pants. bad. I meant the shoes. What are oh, they the combat boots? Combat boots. You're like, I'm tripping, bro. We'll the dog the medias. Just- no, like the medias with the skirt is a moment. Yeah. But you can make a cool girl with some shorts and your combat boots. Is that really cool girl? Because I feel like a <laughs> cool girl would be like, um, it's getting tacky. I feel like they're tacky? more about, I need to search this up because I, I feel like it's classy. It is, Myra, but I feel like the cool girl nowadays that does like, you know, the TikTok girl with the fall outfits, like she's doing that cargo pants with like the baseball hat. I don't know. Cool girl fall. <laughs> no, nah, I'm going to search up Christian girl fall. I'm a Christian girl fall all the way. Like, I've been seeing, like, people do, yeah, like, they'll do, like, fall outfits. And it's so different. Christian girl fall aesthetic. I'm crying Christian here. girl fall. No, but, like, I, 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 there's always, like, the the essentials that I need for fall, Myra. Like, <laughs> like. <laughs> How I'm trying to be. <laughs> That's giving very much the studio. That is giving literally. Us. No, because why they all got a Celine purse? Imagine, <laughs> girl, stop. <laughs> no, actually, it's no. The thigh high boots for me. Bitch. In this picture, they don't. But those thigh high boots, damn. I always wanted thigh high boots so bad, Myra. I need those. We we used to have them. No, no but it was a struggle, Myra. If you had a fucking, if you were a big bitch with those fucking thigh high boots, Myra. Oh, for the years. Thighs. I'm talking like high school years. I'm talking about. For years, I always wanted to rock the thigh-high boots. 
And bitch, when I tell you they will not go up my calf. <laughs> stop, stop. Or like, or my the ones that, I'm talking thigh high, like the ones that come up mid-thigh. I know what you mean. They don't go they up the thigh. They will not go up mid-thigh, bitch. They were not built for these thighs. Not because. They would go up to the knee, no further. I'm just trying to find friends that are trying to take these pictures, bitch. Like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm trying to find friends that are willing to go to the fucking, where do you even have trees I like that? want to go where they filmed Hocus Pocus, Myra. Is it uh-huh. Massachusetts or something? Yeah, let's go to Salem, bitch. That's where I'm trying to go. What's up? No, Why I ha- need friends that dress like this. No, I need friends that will hop on a plane with me to go have a Hocus Pocus tour in Massachusetts. Why the fuck have we not gone, Myra? I don't know. We are fake fans. Christian girl autumn era. <laughs> Myra? I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, hold on, back to the Uggs. You know, because <laughs> I've always, always been a Christian girl. Imagine <laughs> living in No, I've always been a Christian girl fall, like 100%. We've always been very much like it's, Spunk and Spice it, Latte. Bitch. That, like, when they talk about, like, the thigh high, brown boots, Uggs, uh, scarf, all that, that was us back then. We were definitely Ugg whores. I feel like for a minute, people kind of like leaned off it. it was, I think she we was, still are that. I think we really much are still. I'm pretty sure last Thanksgiving, I did like the whole oversized dress, turtleneck shit with like medias and thigh yes. high boots. I, I just, it's Thanksgiving. And honestly, like I'm in between, like I said, I want to be a cool girl with a cargo pants, but like I need the turtleneck moment. I need it i need the pumpkin spice latte like queens i just need it it's just like for me like i need a mix myra i need like i feel like in my closet you need certain essentials for fall you need a turtleneck yeah scarves i haven't seen in forever bitch i haven't seen it but that's a christian girl falls be wearing no those honestly i when i cleaned my closet out recently i threw every scarf out i was like let's be for real when are they gonna come back so sad that they would be super iconic for fall they are, but they kind of like are not in anymore. They're huh? not in anymore. But do you remember every time fall came around? I was definitely wearing a turtleneck. They're cute though. I, they are cute. I was wearing a scarf every Thanksgiving for a few years. Scarves were iconic. I feel like for some reason, like I don't see them as often anymore. I used to wear them actually a lot. Like, I used to wear them a lot ago. too. I used to wear them a lot too. I remember. No, because this is a thing. They're gonna come back in. Watch. You could be, I could picture a cool girl wearing a scarf with her leather jacket. That's, That's kind of how look. I look. That was literally the look back then. Like the leather jacket, the scarf, and your thigh high boots or something. You know what's another staple that like, it might, I don't know. I feel like the cool girls would think is tacky nowadays. But like, I absolutely need like just the turtleneck uh, skin tight dresses. Like uh-huh. that, that think of that brown or just black turtleneck dress, long sleeve with medias. I wore that I need last that. year. That's like just essentials that I need for fall. <clears throat> yeah, huh. I need the brown suede skirt. Are we still doing like the the burgundy lips for fall? You remember that twenty sixteen makeup? I feel era. like it is. I love like a bold lip to an extent, uh-huh. but I've also noticed that a bold lip on me, it just like makes my face look rounder. I don't know how. <laughs> is it just me? You don't? Do you feel like that? I feel like a red lip on me is like I look like a moon with a red lip because I think the red it just stands out so much. It's like a a, a big it. contrast, a big contrast, and I also feel like because. Sometimes I already feel a little pale. And then with the lips, with the red lips, it's just like more. I don't know how to explain it. I love a red lip, though. I mean, I never wear a red lip. But they're beautiful. It's coming for Christmas. We're wearing a red lip for Christmas. You know please. what? You're right. Maybe we need to experiment with it more. I feel like I'm just a nude lip girly through and through. Oh, my gosh. I actually have a side part today, which is rare. Speaking of trends in fall, I actually been seeing on TikTok that the side part's going to come back in this fall. Yeah, Karina was telling me that, and I'm like, I feel like it's been in. You never, like, um, noticed that, like, the Gen Z's and stuff, like, it was a thing where they say, like, I literally saw a TikTok that said, if you have a side part, don't talk to me. <gasps> or, like, if you have a side part, like, you already lost the conversation, you already lost the argument. 
What? And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. These kids need to chill. Yeah, yeah. Because like Gen Z's literally see side parts as like a, mil- a millennial thing. You know what they see? The I saw a TikTok. A girl, she was super excited about fall decor. And everybody was roasting her in the comments like, this is so a millen- This is such a millennial. <sighs> this is the very millennial of you. I'm like, oh, what? Fuck y'all, fuck y'all for that I was shit. Like, y'all, so y'all don't got the holiday spirit like that? Like, oh, y'all are too cool for pumpkins, bitch. <laughs> Y'all are too cool Aww. for the. Y'all are too cool for Christian girl fall. Bye. Y'all are y'all are just okay. Y'all are too cool for it. What's going on? No, you can't. No, we can't do that. Like I'm too cool for pumpkin spice, bitch. Like that's like your inner child. It in is you. very. I think like millennials, we are very, very, very mm-hmm. about like our decor and like ooh, our homes looking cute. Um, but side part, sorry. No, yeah, you're fine. I was gonna say, um, I haven't worn a side part in like I can't remember, Maya. I yeah, I have not seen you in a side part. I like how it looks. It's rare. Like I could count the times in a year that I do a side part, and it's usually like really, really random. But I'm I've like always loved a side part. Yeah. Do you like a side part more than you like like your middle part? Yes, one hundred percent. Really? Yeah. I I think anybody looks better with the side part. Shut up. Yeah, I swear really yeah my whole pregnancy i had my hair to the side and i was thriving and then i started wearing it after in the middle and i was like why are you going back to a split middle i never liked it and you know what for me every time i see a side part girly i'm like you would be such a bad bitch in a middle part stop playing yeah but i never thought it, I, it's hard to explain it though this is what it is middle okay th- side you know part. i love side parts too you know what it vibes it gives me it gives me blonde versus black like black hair makes you like bolder side uh blonde hair makes you like more like soft features soft features i feel like the side part gives you that soft like features soft feature and the middle part gives you that like strong feature i get that i love the side part though i, I know just, what you mean though i feel like any girl i've seen with a side part looks better with a side part and i always used to think like the middle looked better okay like recently i saw kim kardashian with a side part and i was like yes queen like people go back and forth like i was a side part girl for years like um when it was when i started youtube i was a side part girl for until like 2018 or so you were a side part i was a side part girly (gasps) hardcore because i have a molino right here what do you call do you know what this is called in english it's like a swirl it's not a swirl it has a name but it's like when you when your hair can't split in the middle because like it's literally twisted the other way, like yeah. it goes the other way. So when I whenever I put my hair in the middle, like my hair always wants to go that way. But I trained it for years to fucking go in the middle. But right here, regardless, like I always yeah, have hair always that have it. fix up and shit. And not only is it baby hairs, but it's because my hair is meant to go that way. So that's why. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've always whatever. I I became a, a middle part for years, and I thought it was life changing, and I was like, I can't believe I ever decided for it. But I just started experimenting with it because I, I saw how it's coming back. I was like, oh, shit, no way. And I tried a side part. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. It makes you look younger. That's what it is. Do you think? I, mm, let's see. It makes the you look mature. Oh, so I look immature. With my hair. Middle no, no, no. I uh, Youthful. Is that the uh, word? Youthful. Um, what is a damn word? Pure. I'm, pure. No, that's just creepy. Um, what am I saying? Is that the what's the word? I don't, don't want to. I know what you're creep, saying. You're saying that. like it just softens up your aura. I'm just kidding. No, it just like gives you a different look. Because <laughs> when I had my hair to the side, my whole pregnancy, I wore it to the side, and even like the way I would do like a blowout vibe, it just gave me okay. such a mother vibe, like okay. a motherly vibe. Then having just like okay. you could even have your hair side straight. And it would look like, like there's just certain ways so of styling like when your you, hair. In the middle, it's more like, um, like gives you more like an edge look, like an edge look. look. And the side part, it's like delicate, like okay, you know, like I think the correct word is like wholesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I just, know what you mean. I've seen it. No, and then I was like, I was like, oh shit, okay, side part. I haven't done her in a bit. I was like, mm, let me try it out. I was just fucking my hair. I was bored. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna test her out for a bit. And then I thought about, I was like, you know what would look cool? Like, a, like, cause I'm into like, I really like the blowout with like the middle part. Yes. But I'm like, I'm sure it would be iconic blowout to the side. Uh, yeah. I'm it here for the beautiful. blowout. But I mean, obviously right now I'm, my hair is flat as shit. But like, I, I think the blowout look would be so beautiful with it the side part. so good on the, to the side blowout vibe. Okay. 100%. You had to try it out. I'm gonna test it out for like 
Actually, the comments will be like the well, will tell me if I'm gonna do this next week. You imagine? You have to do it. It looks good even like that. How you no, but it? like um, I I think I'm just so used to the middle part, Maya. But I'll you're not. It. But so okay. So but are the millennials bringing it back or the Gen Zs are bringing it? I just saw something on TikTok how like side parts were coming back in. When before I was a middle part girly, I felt that my face looked bigger with a middle part. And oh then God, yes, because a lot of mm-hmm. there's people that say that like I can't do the middle part because like my face. I'm like, what are you talking about? And that's that's how I was at first. But then once I did the middle part, I felt like it gave it gave like that body vibe a little bit. Yes. So then I was like, no, I gotta be a middle part girly. But now, and yeah, now I'm thinking like, no. But then now that I put it to the side, I'm like, I feel like my forehead looks bigger. No, I feel like I'm my like, forehead looks bigger with my hair in the middle. What? Because it's like the way, I mean, if you blow it out and make it like in your forehead good, but when it's just like sitting like that, <laughs> it's just giving <laughs> No, I feel like my head, something. I feel like it's, it, I added an inch by putting it to the side. It's hard. It's it's hard. <clears throat> I, I just got to address that. I sound different huh, a little bit. You do? No, I don't know. Maybe. I've had a, a lingering cough for like fucking three weeks already. Me too. And it's annoying because I feel like I have to cough. Me too. <gasps> I didn't even update you guys my what happened this week, girl. So Karina got like a stomach bug. Oh my god, I did. I put it on Instagram. <laughs> she was down bad for a day. So it started off well, my parents got back from Mexico and my dad said that at the airport he was feeling like trash. Like he He thought like he was like something was happening to him. He didn't even he know. He literally thought bug. he was dying. Like he was super nauseous, he was throwing up like at the airport, like shitting his brains out, like full blown diarrhea. And we we're like, oh dang, oh, like what was that? You know. And when he came home, he felt better the next day. So we we're like, okay. And the next day, Mia like starts just throwing up, like, like I'm talking like what's the word? Insanely. <laughs> oh my god, I know the word. So Mia was just projectile vomiting. It wasn't just like I'm throwing up. It was like not even gagging. Like I'm talking like she was completely content, Myra. Like she wasn't even like in pain at first. Like at first she was just like. She would just be talking to us and then I don't know where. What? I swear. And like, so she wouldn't even give us a warning. Like she didn't even, oh. she couldn't even warn us, Myron. Like I'm talking like just ruining our clothes, like straight up, like, like my hair, everything. Like bitch it was everywhere. And I was like, what just happened? I really thought I was like, she had to eat something. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. I was tripping. You start thinking the worst. You're like, did she pick something up? Like she eat something like yeah, got yeah, into yeah. like some vitamins. I don't know. You know, you're thinking. Yeah. And then no. She doesn't want to eat. And then throughout the day, literally, and we're like, okay, we'll give her like juice. Do you want anything? Anything, drinking juice, anything, just projectile vomiting like immediately after. Like she was so bad. So we're like, okay, I think she caught a bug that my dad had. And then we're like, okay. So then that night she could not sleep. We were up all night, all night, exhausted. And then like she finally she goes to sleep. She's still throwing up at night? Yes, poor thing. But like she would go to sleep, but then literally like we put like a towel around her because we're like okay like she goes to sleep again no warning just i don't know where like i'm talking like the bed like we're sleeping in vomit at that point (gasps) what the fuck are we gonna do go on the floor bitch i'm not sleeping on the floor at that point i just put a towel under me and i was like no because literally like it got everywhere mara so what did I do? I just wiped down what I could, put a towel right over the throw up, and I knocked the fuck out of it. <laughs> no, so I'll tell you, she falls, she finally falls asleep. Then like 3 a.m. rolls around. I wake up, I'm like, my stomach bubbling a little bit. Oh, I'm like, hold on, nah, nah. I'm tripping. I'm like, I'm overthinking it. You know, you overthink shit. I told Raul, I was like, and I was even joking with him. I was like, I think I'm about to throw up. Like, I was like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, nah, you're whatever. I'm like, nah, I'm tripping. I wake up 30 minutes later, I'm like, I'm really like, I'm thinking, like, I'm really making myself sick overthinking this shit. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, I swear to God, I haven't thrown up, like, literally since I had surgery. Yeah. I haven't thrown up in a year. I don't know where I'm just, like, <laughs> throwing up. What? I got a shit throw up at the same time. That's the oh, worst. When you're, like, God. do I sit down? Uh-huh. Or do I, like, where do I put the bucket? In my ass or in front of me? Stop. Because, stop. like, I got I to gotta take a shit and throw up at the same time. Girl. So, um, yeah, that happened. And then I got that was fucking horrible. It was horrible because I felt bad for Mia. And then I was like, and then Mia was like crying. And then I was like, oh, because like I hate throwing up. I was really like, help. <laughs> you ever throw up? I hate that. Like, help me. 
I'm choking in your own vomit. I'm out rolling. I hate throwing <laughs> up. Like, I think a lot of people hate throwing up in general. I fucking hate that like, shit, bro. Disgusting. And then Raul's over here, like, exhausted for a thing. And then, like, Mia's over here, like, daddy. And I'm like, Raul, he's out hearing daddy from both sides. Like, come on. <laughs> I was dead. And then in the morning, I just wake up and, like, me and Raul are not even in the room. Like, I think he, like, he took her downstairs because he knew that I was up all fucking night. And then the moment I come downstairs, bro, I was like, I have explosive diarrhea. I'm like, period. <laughs> so by morning, Mia had already felt good. Like she was yeah. thriving. Thank God. Because that's wow. the day that me and Raul got hit. And then uh, two days later. But you did Raul never throw up? Or? He didn't. He actually just got explosive diarrhea. Okay. So I thought I had dodged it. My 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 mom had got sick too. They all, the girl, all of Jasmine us got sick. Everybody got sick. <laughs> So I thought, I'm like, I haven't gone. Like, I went the day that they came home. <laughs> so I thought I had dodged it. Because I was like, why well, would have gotten sick already? Like, you know? And then a couple days later, which was yesterday, I wake up feeling like absolute death. The night before, though, um, we were supposed to film the podcast yesterday. So I'm like, oh, I'm chilling. You know, I didn't think nothing about it. And then that the night before, Brian just all of a sudden, he starts feeling like he's like, because I had made pasta. And he's like, damn, I should have not had two plates. Like, you just said that. And he went to the restroom. Where he kept going to the restroom. And he's like, I need to throw up. And I'm like, no, no, you don't. We're like, I- did I cook the chicken right? Uh- <laughs> no, no, no. At this point, I'm like, I know exactly what's going on. Oh. He did not sleep the whole night. He said at some point he was debating if to sleep in the fucking restroom. Oh, me too. Because he was in, the- in there the whole night, yes. Karina. I was literally late. I was, I swear, I was taking naps in the bathroom, like on the toilet. <laughs> oh my God. And then, like, I was like, Karina, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Wipe my ass real No, quick. no, no, because, yeah, Brian, he said, like, every 30 minutes he would go to the restroom to throw up or either, like, like, go. Yeah. So in the morning, um, I just, it woke me up. Like, me actually feeling like shit woke me up. I remember just waking up a little bit and I'm like, oh my God. Like, I felt my stomach turning. For me, it was nausea. I was like, oh, I feel weird. I feel weird. And then, like, the littlest movement, if I would get up, like, I would feel dizzy. Oof. Yes. Oh, my God. That was yeah. the worst. So that morning, I was like, okay, Brian feels like shit, too, because he started feeling this last night. Now I'm feeling it in the morning. Oof. I had to text the group chat. I was like, y'all, I cannot <laughs> film today. Like, there's uh-huh. no way. But Karina told me it's a one-day thing. It was like one I day. I should day. be fine by tomorrow, which is today. Um me and brian basically brian had not slept so he was like a zombie with (laughs) diarrhea and throwing up (laughs) and i was barely feeling the nausea so i was feeling like straight up death and um the we had to take noah downstairs it was probably like 7 a.m i was like i mean i can't just sleep it off and try to recover when brian's like sleep deprived Mm -hmm. so we were both down there we literally put him on the bassinet to to sleep right there in the living room i was on the floor in a pillow me and brian were on the floor and like any little time because no obviously wants to be up and thriving <sighs> and i was like at some point i just wanted to like sleep like because i didn't i just didn't want to be awake because i just feel so dizzy and nauseous uh-huh. so i would like even just to get up to fix his pacifier i was like what are we doing i'm like he he's up like we can't like, he's not <laughs> going to sleep so i called my mom i'm like <laughs> I knew she was already like good. Yeah, we had already gone through it. You guys already had gone through it. I called my mom I'm like, "Puedes recogerlo?" Like, I can't do this. Please pick up your. Kids. I was yeah, like, was no. I was. I literally had a no, conversation. I told Brian, "I'm like, I really think I'm gonna call my mom to pick him up because we are both like extremely <laughs> sick right now to Zombies. be taking to be taking care of him. Like, I feel like when I had gotten sick a couple weeks ago, I was down bad, but Brian got sick after me. So we were able, like how you said, you guys were able to like balance it and take care of Mia. That's how me and Brian were a couple weeks ago where like I was down bad. And then when I recovered, Brian started getting sick. Yeah. But this time around, it was both of us sick. I was like, I cannot. And I literally called my mom. I'm like, just pick him up for a few hours because literally like I cannot function. Like I could not. So (laughs) when my parents picked him up me and brian tried to get as much rest as possible literally like in my sleep like when i would just try to wake up a little bit like i would fight like i would literally fight waking up karina because i felt like absolute shit i i literally slept through the day 
just to avoid throwing up i didn't want to throw up oh my god <laughs> yeah and then i kid you not we're in bed like the whole day 2 p.m hit jasmine's texting me that noah's <laughs> losing this shit i'm like girl <laughs> no well i was here with him Myra. And it's so sad because I think he like he thought I was you or something. <laughs> oh maybe. Because I had to leave to the warehouse. But right before I left, my mom was like trying so hard to put him to sleep. And I was like, I know Myra does like contact naps. <laughs> yeah. So I just like picked him up and I was trying to talk to him like you do. You'll be like, That's my baby, that's my baby. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I was like, That's my baby. And I was like holding him like this, like trying to do a contact nap. <laughs> Not creating a fucking in person. No, I really was like, I'm gonna make him think I'm Myra. And like I'm not kidding, Myra, like in two minutes, like rolling his eyes back. Like, the moment he came in my arms, like, he was exhausted. I was like, oh, my God. I think he literally thinks I'm Myra right now. <laughs> so, I'm sitting down with him. And, like, he's fully out. And I give him to Jasmine. I'm like, just do the contact nap. And she's like... She's, and then Jasmine, she don't even know how to carry him right. I'm like, girl. So, she's like, trying to carry him. Wakes up. Oh. I get him again. Myra immediately falls asleep. I'm like, he literally thinks I'm Myra. Aww. And he only wants to sleep with me. <laughs> and then, like, he really knocks out. And then that's when I leave to the warehouse. And I guess right after is when they call. The, he really woke oh my up. My goodness. But it's so funny because I think he really thought I was you. No, my mom's like calling me. She's like, not a cogerlo. Like, he, <laughs> she's straight up. Like, ven a cogerlo. Like, <laughs> come get your kid. Straight up. She's like, he mm-hmm. is just done with it. I was like, oop. Mm. When he left, I was like, he looked very happy. My mom told me the first couple hours he was thriving. <laughs> I think after a while he was like, all right, where the fuck are my parents at? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, obviously me and Brian still waking up feeling like absolute shit. I was oh. like, let's go. I'm like, my poor baby. And then I feel bad too because Noah is so used to just me and Brian. That's all he sees all day. Yeah. So I could just think about him like being mortified, like where are my parents? So I'm <laughs> like, I got my ass up and we made it work i don't know how we survived the rest of the night but we picked him up oh we were God. chilling for a bit i still felt like shit this morning i know and like finally now i'm good i'm 100 yeah. percent good now not crystal getting fucking the bag no. <laughs> no. we're keeping our distance queen no. um but yeah this morning i was still feeling <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Why am I here? I'm clocking out. <laughs> no. Um, this morning I was still feeling it. I was like, bruh. And I was up until I woke up at 6 a.m. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, at that point, I'm like, I'm going to just stay up and fight it through. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm, I'm here. I am now. Girl. I mean, she's feeling better. <gasps> you know what helped it? Squirt. So in the morning, instead of having my coffee, I had squirt with my eggs. <laughs> Queen. That's that sounds <laughs> sad. Squirt with my eggs. What? We love squirting. <laughs> we love squirting. Like why? <laughs> what? Today's episode of Chins and Giggles is brought to you by Ulta Beauty. With Ulta Beauty, the possibilities are beautiful. Their goal is to celebrate the role of beauty in our lives and redefining how beauty is portrayed. And their mission is to help use the power of our own unique beauty to bring to life the possibilities that lie within each of us every day. That's why we are honored to partner with Ulta Beauty and what better time than during Hispanic Heritage Month. Ulta Beauty season celebrates the dimensional richness that's been shaped by Hispanic and Latin cultural traditions and generational influences. Girl, what are you waiting for? Support our roots and purchase Latin founded brands at Ulta Beauty like Riesel's Curls, Better Not Younger, Honest Beauty and more. Oh my god, I've actually been trying out the Rizzo's Curls Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp and Hair Rinse on my daughter Mia. Y'all know she got a head full of hair. She has a lot of hair, super thick and curly as well. And let me tell you, it's been leaving your hair so good that I tried it out myself. It feels like a refreshing spa day for my scalp, girl. And don't even get me started on the original Beauty Blender. Because you know it's an absolute essential. A game changer. Everybody has one. For sure, girl. And I'm currently obsessed with the Carolina Herrera Very Good Girl Glam Perfume. Every time I wear it, girl, I get so many compliments. If you want to discover more about these brands, their stories, and shop their products, head over to Ulta Beauty. Shop and support Hispanic Latin brands at Ulta Beauty and let's together redefine what beauty means to the world. At one time or another, we all needed a little financial help. That's why Dave is great. Dave can get you cash when you need a hand between paychecks and can help you build credit by settling extra cash advances on time. Girl, Dave would have been so useful when my car literally broke down because I was in tears, queen. And you know, girl, that service light has been staying on for months. Thankfully, Dave is here to help with extra cash. 
Finances can be so intimidating. That's why you need Dave, girl. Dave can make managing your money so much easier with an interest, free, extra cash, advanced, fee-free, goal tracking, and easy ways to find a side hustle to make more money. Dave is a banking app that's leveling the financial playing field. When you download Dave, you can get up to $500 in five minutes or less. No credit check, no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account. Advance the money you need with no interest and then settle up later. Extra cash gives you more money to buy groceries, fill your tank, finally get your car repaired or catch up on bills without having to wait for your next paycheck. You can even build credit when you settle up on time. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to make their finances easier. So if you're in a pinch, get the help you need by downloading Dave. Download Dave today at Dave.com slash chins. That's Dave.com slash chins. You can get up to $500 in five minutes or less. No credit check, no late fees. For terms and conditions, go to Dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve, member FDIC. Oh my gosh. So speaking of like... You know, we're talking about fall and holidays and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cuffing um, season. Yeah, it's cuffing <laughs> season. I was just thinking about this. Like, obviously, we're married and stuff, yeah. you know? But have you ever thought of, like, you know, <laughs> it sounds all bad. I'm like, imagine being single. No, I'm just kidding. Bruh. That sounds all bad. No, that's like horrible. You know, they, they call it cuffing season for a reason because the holidays are coming yeah. up. The chilliness is coming up. Like, you want to cut. It's also cuddle season. Yeah. And, like, also, you start going to all these, like, holiday parties thanksgiving's coming up everyone got a boyfriend and girlfriend like i know and like it makes you think you know like <laughs> i don't know i don't know where i'm going i know with. you f- i'm like, i know exactly what you mean. like it's a thing right let like, me tell you when i mean if i was single, single right single now like the- oh i was gonna say if oh, i'm so annoying <laughs> i'm so fucking annoying you come to comments let her talk <laughs> guys i'm so sorry no you i'm very <laughs> fucking like i can't no because i was gonna say if if i was single and not married right now and i didn't like have a man on like for the holidays coming up i look you'd be like fuck i need to get on hinge or these abs i need to find myself a date you know no, because i feel like obviously i mean i'm not speaking for everybody because first of all if you're single pop the fuck off queen you don't gotta have a man or a girl for the holidays but for me it was depressing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> let me tell you girl me, it was depressing no because <laughs> you know, i was not sad as shit you know, no i was heartbroken okay let me tell you girl from experience me and brian had a like a a roughy era <laughs> this was like literally like our we we're probably like a year in or something very like just always fighting and shit <laughs> and i remember we were we had like broken up around the holidays I was so on the holidays depressed. Oh my god, a breakup around the holidays is Chris. Sad. Oh my god, yes, Christmas, Karina. I I've still seen, remember this I've shit. seen like Hallmark movies on shit like this. Yeah. Breaking up right around fucking. It was very Hallmark day, energy for sure. Let me tell you this story. It was You're like Christmas. Let me fucking talk. We both worked at the Tiki and we were working Christmas Eve, right? And we were leaving early. It was like really early we were leaving. We literally were probably leaving like at eight or something i'm like wait that makes that makes no sense because it opened like at six i don't know we were leaving really early for thanksgiving christmas and i remember i got no so i'm there and i'm like we're not even talking right now we're like broken up awkward and it's christmas eve oh hell no and you guys were in the same and i was in the same room with him and i remember and i remember getting home I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I'm walking out of this building without my boyfriend I've been with what, over a year. And it's Christmas. Had it been a year or a couple years? I don't know. But I was like very used to him already. Like spending oh holidays course. with him, girl. And then we were leaving. And I remember getting home and my family was getting ready. You know, like when you're getting ready. My mom's making her pozole tamales. Yeah, ready so you vibe. walk in like all depressed. I walk in all depressed. I go to my room and I'm not trying to celebrate Christmas. Oh my god, <laughs> so dramatic! And I remember, I still, remember, I still think it about sounds this like day. a Hallmark movie. I still remember till this day. I'm sure you remember, Karina. I was yeah, I remember that cry- day. I was crying in there, 
And my mom's in there with me. And my dad walks in. He's like, ¿Qué pasó? And I'm just like crying. And I always think about this scene. I'm like, he definitely thought I was pregnant or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> OMG. I always think about this because I'm like, bitch, give it up. Say what you're doing. Why are you just crying? Like, say it. My dad's like, what the fuck is going on? I just remember I was like sobbing in the room, crying. And my mom's like, my mom's just there with me, like silent, watching me cry. And my dad's like, ¿Qué pasó? And, and at some point he's getting agitated like ¿Qué pasó? Ya dime. and i'm over there just crying like he definitely thinks you're pregnant bitch he definitely thought i was pregnant girl he's definitely thinking she's 16 and pregnant right now. <laughs> he really thought i was pregnant i'm pretty sure like and i'm at some point i was like okay give it up girl like he's gonna he's gonna think you're pregnant and i was like brian and it's like conmigo i was just like <laughs> Girl. well because like this you guys was an era where we were, you guys were so young when you got yes. together um but yeah i just remember literally like like so depressed Krina. <clears throat> i could not believe the I remember love of my life christmas, is not there with me for christmas no, let me but tell you i remember oh, this let me tell you this motherfucker imagine you guys were literally children so you yeah. guys were both in your little toxic era yeah. you guys we were, were fucking kids yes like fighting era right um so literally i just remember being so depressed i was like the love of my life is not here with me for christmas oh it's tragic right um and this kid decides to pull up just knock knock on the door like i wasn't just crying up a storm in the room with no i mean he didn't even tell me he was going he had fun the whole time like nah, i'm gonna go to her house but didn't Isn't speak that to what me. she wanted deep down but didn't speak to me at the tiki i was like is that not what, but that's what you wanted deep down, deep down that's what i up. wanted but my mom my mom has mm. never gotten in a relationship and I remember that day she sat down with him for dinner, remember? She did. I re- <laughs> it is the day. It's the day <laughs> I was thinking of. Brian, yes, I do remember us all getting ready. Myra was like literally crying Hysterical. her head off. And I was like, oh shit, like what's going on with her? <laughs> oh shit. I definitely knew y'all were like, you guys have broken up. And then uh, <laughs> I remember my mom was literally talking to Brian. She was so mad. She was... <laughs> <laughs> literally like when you're i think when you're a parent and you see your kid like really heartbroken you feel bad yeah my mom literally was like crying talking to him oh my gosh i swear <laughs> and there was a point where Hold she was on, so I angry gosh she was crying I think she was angry and she was like yeah basta like some, <laughs> she was some shit like like if you guys are gonna be broken up yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pero no le hagas esto. like it was like yes, some shit like that yes. no it was that and yeah and let me just translate for for like the <laughs> non-speaking oh my people. god that's so funny that you literally remember her it was some words. shit like that it was something, <laughs> somewhere along the lines of me, my mom saying dinner like, was real awkward was it? that thanksgiving dinner was the, oh wait no it was christmas <laughs> <laughs> i was just there like I was just there scarfing down my fucking tamales, man. <laughs> but the bitch remembers everything she I said. I definitely don't it? think I said anything. Did I say anything? I don't think you did. It's just funny that you remember I everything I really she was said. just probably having my own fucking issues. <laughs> she was having her popcorn like... What was I doing? <laughs> you weren't listening, I th- apparently. I, I literally remember you guys were on this side. And I just remember my mom, like, she was, like, mad. And she's like, <laughs> and I think she even told him something because, yeah, he had like pulled up. And like, I don't think anyone expected for him to show Nobody up. Nobody expected. He didn't even tell me. Did my dad tell him anything? I feel like my parents were talking to him. I just remember my mom was like, somewhere along the lines of like. Okay, because we were broken up. And it's like, why are you showing up and like messing with my emotions? Yeah. So my mom was like, why are you? She's like, si la vas a dejar, déjala pa' que yeah. la estás confundiendo. It was that. My mom was saying like, if you're going to break up, break up. Don't do this to her. Like. Like, it was it so guess just break up. You guys don't need to be doing this. This is like blah blah blah. It's Christmas. It was like something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think Brian was just like shook because he didn't like think anybody was gonna say anything. But did he just, leave or did he stay after that? He stayed because I'm pretty sure after that it was like you were completely fine. I think that was I your guys' reconciliation. I think that was you guys getting back together when my mom sealed the deal. Oh my said. god. I think that was like that was basically like like stop this breakup shit figure it out and yeah it and then i'm sure my mom went to go serve him some pozole and we were all good right i think that i mean y'all thriving after having a meltdown oh my god i think you guys were fine after that that is so funny that you remember that's the i remember that christmas specifically because why are you gonna break up <laughs> and now you're coming over yeah to my i house. remember my mom my mom literally lecturing him like you this is you're fucking with her right now doing this yeah like we're broken up <laughs> why are you pulling up to my house i'm over here distraught <laughs> that we're not celebrating christmas and then you decide to without without telling me <laughs> just pulling up to my house like 
I'm here. Yeah, it's just funny. Like, so my mom like, was obviously like, "Oh, what are you doing?" But Mara, that's kind of like a happy ending because, like, oh, when he pulled up, that's literally a movie. Like, he, he came showed through. up and he said, "I'm gonna pull up. Like, I need my girl my, by my side on that's Christmas some queen Eve. shit. That's some low queen key. shit. Okay, that's some king shit right there. Okay, queen. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> now I think about it, I'm like, oh, okay, queen. Yeah, you're, you're like this motherfucker decides to pull up. Like, isn't I'm that like, what you wanted? Like, what do you mean? I, and I do remember just telling him, like, why are you? Why did you go the whole day? We're not talking. You didn't say a single word, <laughs> and you think you just have the privilege to step step foot in my house? <laughs> And I was here for it. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I was here for it. So, but like, it's depressing. <laughs> no, but like, for there's me, people that like, when you go through a breakup around that time, I feel the people that go through a breakup around the time. If you're single, trying to mingle, girl, ain't nothing you got to be depressed about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like people <laughs> just naturally want to like, they're, they, they're probably thinking like, oh, I want to take a, a date to the to the Pumpkin Thanksgiving patch, dinner. To the horror night. And like, it's always fun to go out with friends and stuff, like to all those things. But like, you don't think you're thinking like, oh, you're I want to like, go to horror nights and like get scared and snuggle up with a dude. Like, oh, I'm scared. Hug me. Yeah. Like, I feel you, you know? Yeah. I haven't been single in years. So it's hard. Imagine. No, literally saying, bitch. No, because I was just thinking I haven't been single ever. I was going to even. even no, I'm not even fucking that dating app you just said. I was like, how do you know no, the dating app? I, I don't even know these dating apps. I almost apps. had a year of like sad holidays. Uh, almost. Um, when my ex and I broke up, we actually broke up. Mm, I think it was around, right around this time. But then Raul came and swept me off my feet a month later. So, oh shit! So, so then I went into the holidays with a new man. So I was excited about the holidays, but damn i haven't had a single holiday since i was 14 i was doing like what no for real that's some sad shit i mean that's, 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 wait, that sounds so fucked up y'all I'm i've literally only had two boyfriends in my life i promise i'm like i never been single like what i've yeah. literally only had two boyfriends in my life but you know it's just a, like you, you know like it's just funny because right after that, I got with her also like, yeah. And you know what you, how we're talking about, like, you know, for the holidays that, you know, cuffing season and you would want like to have a date for the holidays. It just depends on the person. Like if you're like a long term relationship person or you're someone just, you know, just trying to have some fun, you you're know, right. You know what I mean? Because it would be kind of fun. Like if you're single and you're like, hmm, like this guy's going to be my date for these holidays this year queen you know like, that sounds kind of fun like if you're single and you're just like okay queen, I'm getting all excited he's ready to mingle for a few months Period. but then it's like you have those holiday pictures like do you take holiday pictures with him not because then you're gonna be looking at your 2016 pictures like by the tree with his food like no nah, see, nah. see see that's weird nah. see that's when you take your holiday pictures with your dog or your, your cat fa- well your <laughs> With your dog. Oh, yeah, with your family. <laughs> oh, I thought you said with your fat. I was like, what? <laughs> I was so confused. With your like, fat? I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, what are you talking? I was like, with your dog. I thought you thought I said that. I was, I was like, no. oh, with your fat. <laughs> especially going to like holiday dinners with family. Like, there's always going to be that fucking thing. Like, you know, you know, you like, yeah. Like, something about going to these like outings everyone's always like where's your man Uh where's your girl and you almost feel the pressure to bring a date with you Mm -hmm. anyways proceed i mean i feel you on that um but what is it about holidays (laughs) where we just want to get in shape and look Mm -hmm. our best so i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm trying to backtrack years like years because I don't know if a I, when, decade, when, when I was why. like, I got comfortable mm-hmm. in my relationship or when I got married, I just really stopped giving a fuck about my weight. I, it sounds terrible. <laughs> but like at some point, I, we've okay, all been no, there. Because like literally, I remember me and Karina would go on these like crazy diets, not even crazy. I mean, it's keto. All bad. Not crazy. They were keto. I mean, a little crazy. Girl. How many people would be doing keto? It's still a I thing, mean, I guess. Keto, I haven't done keto in years. Keto would be seen like by any, any diet is like a fad diet yeah yeah unless it's like an actual lifestyle thing that's yeah. consistent in your yeah so me and i would always be doing keto and i just remember like we would lose mad weight for like i would look forward to like okay 
Halloween's coming up. I got to lose this much weight for Halloween. Okay. And I think about the costumes I'm going to wear. And I'm like, Thanksgiving is coming up. I need to like be skinny for Thanksgiving. And like, and like we literally we had get a motivated skinny era. for the holidays. Yes, we would get really motivated for the holidays. You just something about the holidays just makes you want to. I mean, I think for any special occasion like a wedding and stuff like that, you naturally. I feel like or like summer is one that a lot of people get motivated for. Summer, 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 summer. Like or you're going wearing back less to clothes. School. Going back to school, going like I gotta to go back like a different person. You want to go back looking better than ever? Yes. I'm like, something but about that. you pull holiday. up looking bigger than when you left in summer, girl. <laughs> Stop. Like, fuck, here we go. Stop. No, but Karina, I remember that <clears throat> era, like low key. We were, we had to be it like, it depends because 15, I feel like 16 when we were like really like, it in- depends, Mario, because I feel like I think I would do that for summer. Cause I feel like when I think of the holidays for a lot of people with a like, bulking season. Oh, it's bulking season, but leading up to it. I know what you mean, though. You want to, like, look good yeah, for the holidays. There is definitely that. I know what you mean, because, like, you know how I'm doing the September challenge thing? Yeah. I'm You're thinking about, of, like, like, Halloween, like Halloween, coming up the holidays. You want to look good, of course. Yeah. yeah I oh, speaking that. of that, I have not gotten my steps in these past couple of days, well, especially with a freaking um, stomach bug. Oh, my God. But it motivates you, though. The only day that I didn't reach my step goal was the day I had a stomach flu. Oh, that's good. And yesterday on accident. I literally was at 9,000 steps, Myra. Uh-huh. I could have easily hit the 10,000. And then That's I started still a watching. a lot of steps. I started watching the ultimatum. And I'm like, it's cool. I got 30 minutes. Ultimatum. The ultimatum on Netflix. It's a show. Mm-hmm. You told me about it in season one. I did. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I also think I have bronchitis, so that's a whole other topic. Huh? Um, so then I started watching it, and I see the clock, 11.59. And then your watch, like, every at 12 p.m., it resets. So I'm like, ah! I, I didn't hit I didn't hit the But 10. you know, like, mentally, you know that you got your steps in after. Yeah, I know I got a lot of steps in. That happened to me a couple days ago. I was at 5,000 steps, <laughs> and midnight hit, and I was like, all right get your extra 5,000 to hit 10. And there I was. Duh, 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 <laughs> there you go. Dancing again. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's my, that's my night routine. Merengue. Queen. Merengue intenso. Imagine. No, merengue rápido. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. It's on Shopify. Mm-hmm. I mean, Spotify. Shopify. Like <laughs> no. Um, and I was like 5,000 steps. And then the next day I was like, oh, I got 5,000 steps. Now I got to do 15,000 steps to count. Didn't reach it, Queen. Oh my gosh. I didn't reach it, but I saw a TikTok. Fun fact, because I've been dancing merengue for like the last hour for a whole hour. A whole hour dancing merengue, drenched trying to get my 10K steps in. But I heard on TikTok that just working out 15 minutes, um, 15 to 20 minutes, Three times out of the week increases mortality by like 70%. Something crazy. Increases mortality or decreases. Okay. Way to die. Increasing doubt. mortality means like <laughs> <laughs> you're more likely to die, queen. Stop it right there. I'm sorry. I'm like, wait a damn minute, fool. It decreases. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mortality by like 50 <laughs> to 70%. Something. I was going to say, that's why. You did 30 yeah. to 50% or 50 to 70. Something crazy. Yeah. And it's just like 15 to 20 minutes a day. Three times out of the week. So I'm wow. like, okay, here I am beating myself up. We're doing up. amazing, Mara. Here I am beating myself up that I'm doing merengue intenso for an hour only four times out of the week. <laughs> I really genuinely, like, um, I'm Raul so... was telling me earlier, he, like, he called me a gym rat and I started cracking up. Oh, like, come on, gym brat. No, a gym rat. They oh, gym. I thought gym brat. Wagon. Gym rat, gym rat, same shit. I started cracking up because I was like, I'm, I'm, I would never be a gym rat, you know? Like, it's just funny because I would never think that. And I'm like, no, literally, like, because we're di- we were vlogging together and he was telling me, like, we work out every day. Like, you, you work out more than me. You be closing your rings. I get my notifications. <laughs> me and Karina are synced in with our... Oh, yeah, we, we're friends on each, with each other. It motivates me, though, because when I see Karina closing her rings, I'm like, shit, I gotta work like, out. like, this bitch closing again. Or like, or, like, the other day when I, when I did my... Um, my, it was like 1 a.m. You didn't see when I closed my my. Yeah, dance. it'll say something like Myra closed something like got an award for dancing. I'm like, wait. <laughs> and I guarantee you all the notifications you get are dance ones, huh? Is that what it is? Does it show like, it does it say workout got, complete or does it show dance complete? It, it, Myra completed a workout and then it says like dance something. Yeah, I got an award <laughs> for my dancing. I'm like, period. Ah. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> no, literally, that's my working out. I don't got a gym. So th- that, you, girl, 
you don't need i mean you it, iconic <laughs> i'm trying to pull up to karina's gym i i saw it today i was like period but if you fly just loud in your face bro stop, stop in my face on my face it was literally on you right here stop it yeah Oh my god! You know, a bitch lands on me right now. Me? Boom! Imagine us. <laughs> no, body slam that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, body but y- y- girl, <laughs> fucking break. I realize like just the excuses we make, and now that I'm always dancing ass. No, Myra, today I haven't like, worked out. Me either. Hell and no. like, even if I worked out yesterday, the day before, it's it's kind of I'm feeling a little guilt. I'm like, me damn, too. it's crazy because it's been a few days. It for really me. is excuses when I think about it. I'm like, no, because I've been able to work out every well, single day. Well, you had day. a fucking stomach bug too, girl. Chill. No, I'm <laughs> saying today that I haven't worked out today. <laughs> yeah, but like, I'm gonna make time to even get on the elliptical for an hour or yeah. something. Something. You know, I was beating myself up. I went a few days, and I'm like, <clears> even <throat> four, three times out of the week, girl, that's incredible for me. Literally being a fucking couch potato too now. Out, like no, working out we're doing amazing it, it's got it i've looked at my steps before and i'm flabbergasted myra just a month ago we were talking about on the podcast we were like oh we need to start working out myra we need to at least go walking twice a week and now look at us almost every day yeah and not even just walking dancing yeah. <laughs> for a whole hour she's gonna be on on dancing with the stars no. soon <laughs> No, because people, I think people think it's like, oh, she's dancing. Like, no, bitch. Not I'm bitch, 10 thousand steps in two minutes is crazy. Out <laughs> here. <laughs> like, quick. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, all fast. No, for real. I'm like, and like today, I'm like, okay, I have to get my steps in. Like, I'm feeling a lot better. But there is no excuses, y'all. Like, da- dancing. You don't need anything but your damn legs, girl. And some moves. That's it. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's well, walking. It. Oh, walking. Or the floor yeah. is free, girl. Go on a walk. That part. <laughs> My mom, like, she right now that we're doing the gym, her and Jasmine, like, begging me to get a... um Treadmill? A treadmill. And I'm like, yo, we live in an area that it's, like, so easy to go on a hike, Y'all bro. Y'all got a whole trail. I'm like, we got a trail down the street, bro. Like, walk. <laughs> like, me and Raul, like, me, like, I don't want a treadmill because... I like going on my walks and that little loop alone, it's like two and a half miles. Yeah. And like, we're so lucky to live in an area where like, like just one loop will equal so much. Cause like, there's so much land, you know, mm-hmm. I tell my mom, I'm like, we literally live in an area where we're so like, where we have so much space to walk. Like there's trails everywhere. Like, what do you mean? Like, yeah. and they're like, Oh, get in it. Get this. I'm like, you guys, we have so much equipment you guys could be using. Like it's yeah. excuses. Oh, Absolutely. I want a treadmill because I want to walk. Like, yeah. Even walking outside the house, you'll get something. You know, it's just like So I got, got sick like um like a couple of weeks ago and I, I had I lost weight around that time. <laughs> and I was You're like, like just look. one more stomach flu. Uh. And I was like, and then when I got the bug, I was like, damn, I'm gonna really hit my goal weight. <laughs> just kidding. I'm done. <laughs> no, Not no. You will. I think that day um, I didn't. <laughs> Girl. That day I lost like five pounds. But like <laughs> <laughs> but like literally two days later i went back up you know it's no. just all fucking diarrhea coming out all the way dehydrated as fuck you and health is wealth y'all we're not trying to get sick out here i'm totally we just trying to get skinny that's all <laughs> i'm totally kidding y'all lord knows i got the reserves what? i'm gonna be okay Stop. have you seen that oh my god have you seen what the, the, the reserves like the fat stored stop have you seen the the tiktok of doctor the one from 600 pound life okay okay Oh, he's like, I saw a snippet on TikTok how um she had, you know, like the they sometimes they had to be like internados in the hospital so that they're yeah. eating right. And there was like this girl like where she was like ordering pizza to the to the hospital. And obviously like the doctor was his, I forgot what his name is, but you know, the doctor from 600 Doctor, Online. Dr. Juan or Dr. Something. She, oh, he's like going, he goes like off me. on them and he's telling her. He's like, you're going to be fine. Or I think she has to like do like a fast or something. And she's like, I can't eat at all for this long. Am I going to be okay? And he's looking at her and he's like, you're going to be Yunan? fine. Dr. what? Yunan? Dr. Yunan or Dr. Wan? Something like that. Just Yunan. I don't know. I don't know. And then he's like, you're going to be completely fine. He's like, you have enough reserves to last. And it's, he says like a crazy number. It's, um, it's so funny you haven't seen it he basically says like you have enough fat store to like it was like a oh my god i wish i knew exactly how much it was but he basically told her like you literally cannot eat for like months and you'd be fine <laughs> he basically said that she got like 
a lot of storage fat to survive on. I was like, girl, I, I know. I've been seeing some stuff on TikTok. I'm like, y'all. I'm always confused for somebody from 600 pound life. What? So there is a girl named Karina Garcia that was on 600 pound life. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. On my 600 pound life. What? I swear. You're like, and it was me. Man. No, no, no. <laughs> there, there is a girl named Karina Garcia that was on 600 pound, my, my 600 pound life. And literally search her up. Her name is Karina Garcia. Over the years, I've always had people tell me like, are you the girl from the show, My 600 Pound Life? No, and I've always just been like, no, it's not me. You know, I've even adjusted. Like, why? When you Google it, <laughs> your picture on You there literally too. Google My 600 Pound Life, Karina Garcia. You get mixed pictures of me and then you get mixed pictures of her. She's also brunette. And she oh, looks God, like we I could like be related. This picture of you. Thanks, Queen. Um, Where was we also this? here. Honestly, Myra, she looks like she could be related to me a little bit, right? Um, people lately have been messaging me more about it because I got the gastric sleeve. I talk about weight loss a lot, like on my reels now, on my stories. Like I'm very open about it now. So now more than ever, people will message me like, I saw you on my 600 pound life. Your transformation is incredible. Stop. Keep going. You look amazing. No, oh, my miss. I swear. And I'm like, oh shit. Sleep Number Smart Beds individualize your sleep experience, making high quality sleep effortless every night. Let's talk about the adjustable firmness on each side. Couples can choose their ideal firmness, comfort, and support on each side, so it's perfect for both of you. This is actually genius. Raul actually prefers more of a firm bed. I like the plush vibes. So you're telling me we could get the best of both worlds, mama? What are we doing here? Another good thing, it helps keep you asleep. Sleep number smart beds automatically respond to your movements throughout the night, adjusting to every move so you're both comfortable. You guys, it also shows your sleep quality. Sleep number smart beds learn how you sleep and provide personalized insights to help you learn to sleep better. Girl, this is amazing. Science actually shows that quality sleep helps improve your mental, emotional, physical, and relationship health. Waking up tired? Here are some tips to help you sleep your best. Guys, I actually love these tips. Tough workouts. The Sleep Number Smart Bed can help you get the quality sleep you need to recover faster and perform at your best. By contouring to your neck, shoulders, back, and hips, the Sleep Number Smart Bed provides support and even weight distribution for more comfortable sleep. I've recently been lifting some weights, and girl, I'm feeling it. Sleeping hot this summer? Because we know it's a hot girl summer, mama. It's a boiling girl summer out there. Sleep experts recommend keeping your bedroom temperature 65 to 68 degrees for comfortable sleep. I agree. An air conditioner or fan plus temperature balancing sleep number smart beds and bedding can help keep you cool so you both sleep just right. Disagree on comfort? 8 out of 10 couples prefer a different mattress firmness than their partner. Me. Sleep number smart beds let you choose your ideal firmness on each side and then automatically respond to your individual movements throughout the night to keep you both sleeping comfortably. Quality sleep is the foundation to a healthy mind mind body and spirit i don't know about you girl but when i don't get a good night's sleep my day is entirely messed up oh absolutely girl as a mom it's so important to get the sleep you can while you can girl. even if it's a little stretch if it's a comfortable stretch i agree you know keeping the air cool mattress cool fresh sheets even if it's three hours that nap is gonna hit yes. amazing if it's hot stuffy the bed's not comfortable i'm not getting good sleep even if it's eight to ten hours mama mm -hmm. i need comfort that part girl i need to crawl into my sleep number bed right now your girl needs it sleep next level unlock your unique potential with a smart bed that can perform as well as you and now save $400 on the new Sleep Number C4 Smart Bed, plus special financing for a limited time. Only at Sleep Number stores or sleepnumber.com. See store for details. Most people on my 600 pound life also go through weight loss surgery, yeah, right? Because yeah. they're usually on the oh, show wait, because yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're going through a weight loss trans transformation. Oh, that's true. So I think people at the time back then, they saw me and they probably were like, oh, Karina Garcia, like, you know, they're they think it's me and like stuff and especially now that i've like been talking about weight loss surgery when you're usually on that show my 600 pound life you're not just on it for fun and they're just fucking recording you just because you're 600 pounds it's usually like you know you're 600 pounds and like it's usually a journey right yeah so i think me opening up about bariatric surgery they link it up and they're like oh she's posting about 
having a gastric sleeve and weight loss and they saw me on well they see 600 pound life Karina Garcia so they think it's me isn't it it's just funny because I'm like oh my god that's funny people would think it's me you know I wonder if people think that's like we're the same person I wonder like her Instagram is it also Karina Garcia or probably I'm I wonder I wonder where she's at now or somebody messaged me like oh my god I'm so happy to see where you're at now like your progress and stuff like I saw you on the show I always just kindly reply like, like, oh, that's Coyne not Garcia? me. Question mark. <laughs> no, just they'll kidding. say Vice Center Brown Life. Um, and I just reply, I'm like, oh, it's not me. <laughs> but it's definitely like I it's 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 like the amount of times I get confused for the person on my six hundred pound life. Title and Karina clears up the rumors six hundred pound life. Can we just like title this Karina Garcia on my six hundred pound life? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when I first originally started seeing the messages. I used to get a lot of trolls in the day. Like, I honestly didn't know, like, about anybody being, at, at, about a Karina Garcia being on 600 Pound Live. So when I first started seeing those, I thought it was people trolling me saying, like, you should be on my 600 Pound Live. You know what I mean? Like, I really, I I thought, you know, she was a thickie. Like, I thought people were just trolling me saying, like, you should be on my 600 Pound Live, you know? Uh-huh. But you then I started tro- trolling. <laughs> I genuinely thought they were trolls. Because people would be like, you look like slime. Like... <laughs> I'm, I'm dead ass you know you look like a stress ball because i was making stress balls and making slime so you know they'd be like you are slime so period you know oh my god so, and it was in but it's okay to laugh it, it's funny it, i look was, back and i'm like that's fucking hilarious you look like slime <laughs> like uh, that's iconic or after i had a baby she finally learned how to make slime without borax okay those kind of comments are funny you gotta that's appreciate hilarious. you gotta appreciate those comments that's funny they're funny you look like slime was pretty funny you look like a stress ball like that's y'all y'all up. funny for that shit no but that's i could laugh at it Maya. Me. i mean yeah they're fat shaming me but like <laughs> it's it's pretty iconic like Please. you look like slime like i don't know <laughs> but anyways <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah and then i ended up searching up like karina garcia 600 pound life like once i saw it more than a few times I was like, is this like a inside joke or something? <laughs> like what? And that's when I saw. I was like, oh my god, there was actually a Karina Garcia on my six hundred pound life. That's so funny. Just thought I'd tell that story, guys. I like, I get it a lot now because yeah. they're like, oh, you had weight loss surgery. Oh my god. I'm like, that's not me, queen. Wow, not me. But she's a queen, and I hope she's thriving. That part. Yeah, and we're having her on the podcast. <laughs> I should bring her on the podcast, right? Like literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god speaking of closing your rings and like your watch detecting exercise it detects sex right it does it it won't like read it as sex but like a it workout? has to count a as a heart workout. rate going up and stuff it, your heart rate goes up if you have your watch on like your heart rate because even sometimes if you're doing just like intense moving for a little bit it'll detect a few minutes of like hmm, it of, won't count as steps but it won't count as steps it says it on on calories <laughs> burned weight lifting imagine <laughs> <laughs> just kidding on weight li- no, no it I'm won't joking, track it as- i'm joking like your man lifting you like <laughs> no i'm literally like, thinking like strength training right now no not strength training but i'm thinking like like <laughs> Brian picking me up like why <laughs> like no, what but, like it says it on the thing like it'll count like exercise so sometimes like i'll randomly i'll be like i have an exercise today and it says like five minutes of exercise i'm like what was that that quick really and then Raul says five minutes of exercise wait we haven't worked out today <gasps> I'm, I'm, I, I'm crying i'm crying <laughs> i'm done um i wonder if it does i know that would be a to. cool feature anything more than like a why don't they have that feature can i can there? i log it like sex so like I can get workout more? they have dance outdoor walk indoor walk hiking outdoor run indoor run i'm gonna do that as a prank my cycle i'm gonna do that as a fucking prank because i share mine I'm multi-sport pr- <laughs> no i think you could add your own stop it i'm gonna could. do that as a fucking prank because i have a few friends that i share my my thing with i'm gonna do that like and put like sex in there randomly and see if anybody texts me like what stop. the fuck she logged sex you share it with i share it with you i share it with izzy i share it with raul cool down damn even cool downs on here yeah. well the cool down that could be it too man i'm dead add workout yeah you could add it i'm gonna add it that is so <laughs> funny pound town i'm gonna name it Pound Town, bye. And she's gonna be clocked in for two minutes. I'm just gonna imagine I mean, Speaking of Pound Town, imagine um, <laughs> this season, you know, 
sweater weather, cozy weather, Puddle under the with. sheets blanket weather. Imagine. Yeah. Um. Speaking of um, Pound Town and all that jazz and physical activity. Um, I was seeing, I was watching the real, why did the real end? Can we you make this what? the real end? Uh, what? I'm like, can we make this the real end? I wanted to with a table, but y'all didn't like it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> done. No, I love the real so much and I miss them because like, I loved girl chat so much. Like they had some good loved. topics, guys. Like I will literally like, I love how TikTok is like doing snippets now of the real. Yeah. And I'm like all their articles from Adam Noir. I'm like, why are we not getting our our little thing we there. need we need our little postcards like how they did we need omg more co-hosts like elizabeth and peter come on and we need to just have girl chat not girl chat we can't copy them we but can. we need to have like our little like you know Shin chat. <laughs> no, but like i really you know i was i just love coming across like random topics that thing would bring up and i thought about you know how they talk about they used to talk about sex and i like, just real shit like that and i wanted to ask you like what is what do you think is a healthy amount of sex for how much sex should a healthy couple be having i think a healthy couple is consistent and inconsistent okay like a healthy couple will have sex five times out of the week and a healthy couple will also have sex like twice a week and a healthy couple might not have sex at all that week okay yeah yeah because there's times that how i feel that you should just be I feel like the question shouldn't be how many times a week are you having sex because a healthy or unhealthy well like a healthy relationship could have no sex that week or they could be having sex every day that week I feel like maybe asking how many times in a month are yes, you having sex is that, more realistic yes because if I ask a couple how many times have you had sex in this month and they say we haven't had sex in months red flag oh shoot i'm like baby who he fucking oh because that ain't true <laughs> oh shit but he gotta be having sex right i mean uh yeah it's biologically like doesn't <gasps> how could the man go yes uh, like it makes me think myra like when i hear people say like oh we go months hold on i'm kind of going off guard a little bit did you see that interview with um como se llama that one girl, she's very about politics, and it was a podcast. Oh, something Owens or something? Yeah, what's her name? Yes, I saw. Um, the lady. How, oh my goodness! They were Hold talking about like name. marriage, right? Were they That's talking about name. marriage? Yeah. And how the other girl was like, "Well, how she's like a sex therapist." The girl, are you talking about that one, Myra? The one that she's like, Candice. Oh, Candace. I love Candace. Yeah. She's a real ass bitch. She's like sometimes a little controversial, but she speaks some She's shit. controversial, but I feel like with what she was speaking on that podcast, it was like. You were relating. I feel like. I, I feel like she was I keeping saw, it real. She was low keeping key. it fucking real as fuck. I saw. I know what you're talking about. So, okay. So, Candace, she is someone that's very controversial. She could be like controversial, like in some topics and stuff. Uh huh. But I know which one you're talking about. They, um,. She's very like, yeah, like so she was some recently on a podcast she's, yeah. with with other women with different views. Yes. Right. And they were talking about, you know, sex and talking about like your partner and stuff. And it just reminded me right now you were saying like, oh, if if your man's not getting it from you, he's getting it for someone someone else. Mm hmm. And yeah, they were talking. You said you watched it too, no? I did. I watched the snippet on TikTok. I was watching the whole thing. It's so long though. Uh huh. I heard she walks out like she just leaves. <laughs> she probably just couldn't handle like the like, it was like just she she could much. like what they were saying like what she was saying. It was so polar opposites of like what their thoughts were. She was probably just like I can't get through these people's heads. Yeah, she yeah, probably yeah. felt like that. But I did. I did see the snippet of. One of the ladies was like a sex therapist or something. Yeah, and she basically sleeps with with couples. Like you're, she'll sleep with your partner to save your marriage. And Candace was basically like, "What?" I saw that part and I was like, <laughs> "I'm sorry, that is crazy to me." So you are fixing their marriage by fucking her man? Yes. So it's like, doesn't she say that she like she teaches them stuff to like be better like sex partners? And it's like, yeah what like if maybe you're not you know me and raul don't have the best sex life she's gonna come in and fuck raul and she's teach gonna, him how to fuck me yeah and she's gonna teach you how to fuck him oh well he might just be like there's better pussy out there he like that's crazy to me 
Like, obviously. That is crazy. That's crazy. So you're I telling mean, me that they actually sat there and debated this shit? They debated a lot of That's stuff. That's crazy shit, bro. It was crazy. So there was another topic. That shit. There was another topic about, you know, men getting their meats met. And one of them was saying, like, oh, I've worked with, you know, um, well, not her, but I guess one of her friends. I'm not sure exactly what was the storyline, but she made an example. She's like, well, what if, like, your partner has cancer and you need to get your needs met and she and candace is flabbergasted she's like your partner's dying and you're thinking about having sex with someone it's just Wait, crazy so you're telling me that this girl like is she's saying like she's i'm gonna help you out because you are that there's terminally ill so don't worry i'm gonna fuck him for you well some of these girls were like you know sex workers and she was saying like how like in that world like there is like you know, men or women that come forward and they, you know, meet their needs because their partner is dying. Yeah. Has I just answer or I'm just I'm not I'm really trying to like not I'm I'm trying to see both ends. But the first thing that comes to mind is like in a debate, like that's what you're going to bring up. Like, well, what if your partner is dying of sex? Like he got to fuck somebody. Let me help you out. Like that to me sounds crazy. That's crazy. That's your debate. Like that's you. That's how you said this. What out drops, Mike? But what if your partner has cancer? Candace? Candace is very controversial. I honestly, I can't even speak on her. Like, no, but this is the other person that said that, right? Yeah, yeah, no. But I, I can't even speak on her on other debates because honestly, I don't watch her like that. Huh. But the footage I've seen off that podcast, I mean, that like girl, that specific topic, yeah. Candace spitting facts, girl. Yeah. I mean, honestly, don't come for me, guys. I have not seen the whole video, but the bits I've seen, uh-huh. Candace is so like, I saw so that real? snippet. <laughs> I saw that snippet, and she looked like she wanted to burst out laughing at these girls, like she couldn't believe the shit that was coming out their mouth. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I mean, I right, what you're saying about like the whole like, like oh well, there's people that are terminally ill that can't satisfy their men, and that's when we step in. Like, what you are you that saying? Part? so that it gets us what i'm trying to say like when you know you don't get your if i was at permanently home, ill and dying of cancer and raul is like i need to get my needs met like i'd be like pobrecito oh your life is so hard i'm here dying of cancer and your life is so hard go fucking jack off or something i'm sorry you could probably but you that. know what like go masturbate go watch some porn i don't know first of all the fact that you're even thinking of that while your I spouse mean, is dying even if you're watching porn i'd be pissed i'm dying and you're over here watching porn that part i think you should okay it's hard because like obviously we're not like in that situation no, but, like, Myra, like but the like, fact I'm that you to would bring that partner in your argument and think you're doing something is wild if my partner is dying has cancer the last thing on my mind is having sex with a fucking stranger or yeah, anybody. Last, not not only thinking about it, like seeking out a sex worker because you're like, I need my needs met. My partner's dying. It's, it's crazy. Now, some call it controversial. I call it fucking common sense. I don't know. Like what? Yeah. I don't know, y'all. Like, that's crazy. Imagine your man, like, well, let me let me go find a sex therapist that can meet my needs because you're dying. Like can you like, let me die first like and then go fuck shit. a bitch? Up? I mean, just wait till like, like can you you can't just wait for me to just like at that point, I would literally be like, you could just wait. Yeah. I, that would be I would be like out of respect, just wait. Like just wait, bro. Like Yeah. Oh my god. I can't, but yeah, that dude. that's honestly, but that's all I have to say because I don't really watch. Well, I saw like the that. snippet of, of the of the sex therapist saying, like, I fix marriages all the time. And she told her, she's like, you fix marriages by sleeping with their husbands? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so real. I was like, oh, shit, bro. What the fuck? Like, I don't understand that. I don't. I need to watch more of this. I have heard Candace is very controversial. So I haven't seen, like, other stuff she's ta- like talked about. Just in, like, what I've seen from that episode. So I just want to clear that up. Cause- and she, like, she makes it clear, though. She tells him, she's like, so let me just make it clear. You sleep with them. And she's like, yeah she like this is not just her giving her tips like well maybe you should try this in bed no she's sleeping actively showing your man how to how to fuck you no mom that's insane like what i mean this is cliche as fuck i don't think this is controversial at all this is like no actually 99 uh, percent of people like, would be like 
what from what i've seen on tiktok like blowing up none of it is controversial it's very common sense not controversial at all i, I if anything like how do you like proudly like go in there and be like well some people can't satisfy their men because they're actively dying and that's when i step in how do you step in and how do you think you're doing some shit you thought you ate bitch you thought you ate saying that shit oh, like what man. myra she really like she really thought she said she said drops mike bitch that moment like the moment i would have heard that shit like what do you mean that's your that's your strong argument i know no, no. i don't Crazy. know anyways that's the topics we should be talking about Guys, you know what? We want to be a talk show. Comment down below some girl topics. Ask us some questions. How many times should I be doing this? Like, should my man be taking me on dates? Ask us those type of questions. Should my man girl be watching chat. this? Should my man be following this? How yeah. do you feel about, yeah, like, ask us, like, questions on girl chat stuff that we could dive into. Absolutely. That kind of stuff. I'm mm -hmm. here for it. Here for it, queen. But I think this wraps up episode 74, girl. Wow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you guys have an amazing, fantastic day. day. Um, don't forget, you guys, tune in Thursday nights on all podcast platforms. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. And also watch us on Fridays on, on YouTube. Don't forget you get to get your pumpkin spice latte today, queen. And we'll see you <laughs> And use code chins at checkout. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and use code chins at McDonald's checkout. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all, we were just talking about like the ads and like we're just so appreciative. Like, Super. you know, we obviously do our ad reads and stuff. We're so excited. But like we never really sit down and talk to you guys about like how grateful we are for our ads. Like <sighs> like McDonald's. McDonald's, girl. Like, Ulta. Ulta Skims. Like it's just Skims, crazy. The Skims one, I was shocked. It's just so crazy. And we're just so grateful. And this would literally not be possible without oh, you guys. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you guys. guys. And don't forget to use code chins just about anywhere at this point. Ah! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, I almost dropped my Stanley. Stanley, <laughs> mama, baby. Please sponsor us. Chins at checkout. <laughs> <No. laughs> I'm screaming. But thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.